Hey guys, it's Susports, and today we are building a keyboard for Boom Razzle. Before we get onto the build, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Mode Keyboards. The keyboard we are building today was provided by Mode Keyboards. Mode Keyboards is a company that designs and sells in stock keyboards, keycaps, and switches. Their Mode 80 was a very popular keyboard that came in many beautiful colorways. Be sure to check them out as I'm very sure they will be coming out with some new projects soon. So the keyboard we are building today is for Boom Razzle. If you don't know who that is, he is an Apex Legends content creator that streams on Twitch. He has a genuine personality and is very enjoyable to watch. The stabilizers we will be using are Duroc V2 stabilizers that were lewd with Crytox 205 grade 0 on the housings and on the wires. After screwing in the stabilizers, I added the foam that goes in between the plate and PCB. The plate we are using is a red aluminum plate, and as you can see there are gaskets around the rim of the plate. The switches are signal tactiles. These are a JWK switch with a very light tactile bump. They are also factory looped very well so there is no need to loop them. We will be using them stock. After carefully pushing each switch into the plate, I soldered every switch pin into the PCB. The keyboard is a black Mode 80 TKL with a red bottom. The Mode 80 uses a daughter board for the USB port and also uses a mounting method called stack mount. Stack mount is where the PCB sits on top of a poron and uses compression from the top and bottom cases to keep everything in place. What is also very unique about this board is that it only uses three case screws because the front interior has extruded areas where the bottom can sit securely in. Lastly, the keycaps are InfiniKey Dark PBT keycaps. These are a white on black keycap set with teal and tan accent keys. Now to some typing sounds. <laughs> 